Welcome everyone to another episode of Wokey's Auto Detailing. Today we'll be working on this beautiful BMW E30 Cabriolet. Alright, the first thing we did was clean the soft top. It is advisable not to use a pressure washer as it can damage the fabrics and also leave a zebra-like effect to your finish. So we opted to use your normal garden hose. And then we use the Angel Wax uh, Excelsior, the soft top cleaner. When cleaning the soft top, it is important not to use a hard bristle brush as it can damage the fabrics of the soft top. So it is advisable to use the softest brush that you have. I applied the hashtag method just to make sure that I cover the whole roof without missing a spot. Guys, I can't stress this enough. Do not use a pressure washer on your soft top. Carry on using your normal garden hose to rinse out the product. Things first, we apply a good amount of wheel cleaner onto the wheels and allow it to set. After a couple of minutes, you can see the wheel cleaner breaking down the contaminants. Whilst waiting for the wheel cleaner to break down more of the contaminants, I applied a good amount of shampoo onto the vehicle uh, just to soften the dirt before I start the contact wash. Onto the wheels. Using a wheel brush, uh, always start at the valve cap as this is a perfect indication to let you know where you started and where you need to finish. Uh, the studs will need a different brush. Just give it uh, some light agitation. Now the face of the rim also needs a different brush, a softer bristle brush as to avoid creating any unnecessary scratches. Next up we foam up the tire using the handheld foam pump. Then next we clean the tire using a tire brush. And you need to give it a proper scrubbing so when you apply your wheel dressing, it'll give you a cleaner look. Lastly, the rinse down. Now I'm giving the car a second dose of uh, shampoo as I'm about to begin with the contact wash.
all right guys it's very important that you clean the window rubbers as there's a lot of dirt that gets stuck in between the window and the rubber cleaning it can actually save your window from uh having unnecessary scratches All right, then we move on to the two bucket wash method using a wool mitt. Always move in straight lines, no circular motions. And then after the wash, we decided to clay the vehicle using a clay cloth. Also, no circular motions, always move in straight lines. Yeah, during the process of the detail, I received a call from the courier company and yeah, I uh, had a delivery. What's up, what's up, what's up? Yep, you know what it is. I uh, just received my my second machine from Auto DNA, the ShineMate EX603, the three inch. All right, uh, not as excited as the uh, the first time, but yeah, man. Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, during the, the detail once again, got a delivery. One red diamond foam pad, one uh, yellow black diamond foam pad, and a three inch shine mate. EX603 Yeah, this is gonna come in handy uh, when we're detailing all those uh, hard to reach places So I'm guessing the next polisher that I need to get would be something like a uh, hybrid nano Right, sir. Uh, anyway uh, yeah, That's it A quick rinse down after the clay treatment Yeah, then we blow dry all of the water in all of those hard to reach places. Uh, this is very important because it makes your life difficult when you have to mask the vehicle. And when compounding, you don't want unnecessary water uh, just giving you nasty surprises. Then after the drying, we quickly inspect the paint. Uh, we discovered this mark here. This is actually uh, some residue left from the clay cloth. Uh, seeing that the car had been repainted, I had to use the NEX paint gauge to see how much paint we're working with so that I don't actually damage the, the paintwork. A great device. Uh, and it just indicated that the only panel that wasn't painted was the right front fender. Uh, very nice to have too. Makes our 
paint correction very easy and safe. This was as good a time as any to test drive the recently delivered new Shinemate EX6033 inch. Uh, this is a very important tool to have if you want to improve your polishing game. It actually helps in polishing all those hard to reach places and all those curves that your normal 5 or 6 inch uh, polisher wouldn't necessarily be able to reach. I'm very happy to have uh, received this one. I've been looking for it for quite some time. Having a decent and strong 3-inch polisher in your arsenal is very important. It helps in cutting time that you would normally waste using a 5-inch polisher trying to get into all those hard-to-reach places. And it is also safe. I mean, you avoid polishing over those edges that uh, you may risk bending the paintwork. Uh, the 3 inch is fun and all, but nothing compares to the Bentley GT Continental. I uh, just absolutely love this machine. It makes the compounding, it makes the polishing very easy. Nice and strong, robust machine. All right, this car was in for a single step uh, paint enhancement and we also cleaned and conditioned the leather. Uh, the soft top was given a wash and was protected using the 303 fabric guard. Uh, it should be able to repel water decently. Uh, the paintwork wasn't the best, but yeah, we tried our level best just to, to make it pop and I think we achieved that uh, objective. The owner of this car is actually a returning customer. We worked on his white E30 and he says he just bought this one the day before. So uh, he just needs to fix a couple of things on it like getting the bumper repaired. Uh, but he was just uh, ecstatic with how the vehicle came out.
yeah if you have been watching uh, up until now uh, and like what you see the content uh, give us a thumbs up uh, give us a subscribe uh, if you can please share yeah, thank you man it will help the channel grow uh, if the channel grows we get more uh, more cars if you get more cars there's more content for you guys yeah, and thank you once again uh, double tanko catch you in the next one